Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Java 4, Minecraft servers, and Minecraft mods, and kind of just Minecraft in general. Sometimes you will need this for default Minecraft, but overall we are focusing more on Minecraft mods like Optifine, Forge, Fabric, and Minecraft servers, whether it's a vanilla Minecraft server or a server on Paper or Forge or any of the other server platforms that are out there. We're going to be focusing on that more in this video. Now one of the reasons that you need Java for, let's say, a Minecraft server, but not Minecraft directly, is because Minecraft directly, right, Minecraft Vanilla, has a version of Java kind of built into it and packaged to go with it. But a Minecraft server, a Minecraft mod, does not have that, so you'll need to get Java directly on your computer. Not just any Java, though. There's a specific version of Java that we're going to be going over here that works on Minecraft 1.17 and newer. Older versions of Minecraft use Java 8. Newer versions use Java 16. So we're going to be focusing on Java 16 in this video, and we're going to be showing you how to basically get Java for Minecraft mods and servers past version 1.17. If this is version 1.25, it's probably still working, right? So that's the thing you need to remember there. But nevertheless, the link in the description down below, the second link down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash Java, will always be up to date. First and foremost, though, we do have much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get your very own Minecraft server up and running, where you don't have to worry about Java because Apex worries about it for you. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, playdartbreakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and go over how you will get Java. The first thing you need to do is go to that second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our entire text tutorial on how to get Java for Minecraft, and basically it goes over everything, right? It's a simple three-step process. What we're going over in this video goes over in this article as well, but a lot of people do like to have videos. We're also going to mention some issues you may have in the video that aren't mentioned in the article. Now let's just go ahead and click on this yellow download Java button. That's going to take us to the Java SE Development Kit 16. Now that's one thing that I want to mention here. We're not talking about a Java 16. We're talking about Java SE Development Kit. That's what you need for Minecraft 1.17 plus servers, mods, all of that stuff. Not Java, Java SE Development Kit 16. Now, at this point, once you're here, you can scroll down and you have all the different versions. We're on Windows, so we're going to go to Windows X64, and then we're going to click on this button over here on the right-hand side, and make sure you get the Windows X64 installer, right? So you're going to get the Windows X64 installer here, and click on over here on the right-hand side. It should end in .exe. When you click on that, it's going to ask you to review the terms, and if you agree with those, click on that little box, and then click Download JDK. In the bottom left, it will automatically download on Google Chrome. You may have to save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox, but it's 100% safe to do so. Now, if I minimize our browser, in our browser, we have the Java JDK. I've also got a vanilla server here that I want to show you what happens when I try to open it without this. This currently isn't installed. We go ahead and open up this server and we double click on the run.bat file here. We will be able to see that we're going to get a JNI error. So you can see a JNI error has occurred. Please check your installation and try again, right? It's basically saying we don't have the correct version of Java. Specifically, we don't have the Java development kit that Minecraft is looking for, right? So we can go ahead and close out of that. And I'll show you here in a second that it'll work after we install Java. If JDK here that you downloaded, the Java you downloaded, it isn't on your desktop, it's going to be in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. But click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. And then in here, you'll have the JDK. You can drag this to your desktop for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and double click on this JDK here. And this is like any other program that you would normally see installed. When you double click on it, it's an exe file, so it's going to go ahead and open up like any program you normally would. And it's going to install like any other program you normally would. Go ahead and click next here. It's going to ask if you want to install it there. Click next, and then it's going to install it. It's that simple. There's no reason to overcomplicate this. It's a very, very simple program to install, but you need to know which one to install because if you just like Google Java download, it's not going to work, right? You need this specific version, the Java Development Kit 16, right? So here we go. As you can see, it's successfully installed. Go ahead and close. You actually shouldn't have to restart your computer for this, but you may have to if you do install this and you're still having issues. Restart your computer. That'll probably fix it. But in this case, we're not going to need to. We can actually delete Java JDK there from our desktop. If you do get this warning, yes, it's fine to permanently delete it. Now let's go ahead and open up that vanilla server again. Click on that run.bat file again. And this time, we won't get any errors. We will get a server that is starting right on up without any issues. 
that's it. That's how you can download and install Java. As you can see, server is starting, and I will show you that it is done here in a moment, showing it truly has started. Sorry for the jump cut there. Uh, my computer likes to lag whenever it's starting Minecraft Worlds, and uh, yeah, I wanted to basically make sure it didn't lag so you all would have the best experience possible. But as you can see, it does say done now, and that server is started. No problems, no issues. And that's how you can get Java. However, you may still have some issues with things like the vanilla servers, for example, like this, or with Minecraft mods, right? Specifically, things like Optifine, things like Forge, installing those, you may have issues. And if that's the case, that's where the jar fix comes in. And basically what the jar fix is going to do is relink the jar files on your computer to Java. So if we go here, you just download the jar fix and then go through basically the tutorial. As you can see it downloads in the bottom left. Now, one thing about the jar fix is that it may require you to download another version of Java. That's okay. As you can see, the jar, jar for suffix has been registered successfully. There you go, and you're good to go, right? Now, one of the things, it might ask you to download another version of Java. If it does that, most likely, you don't need to run the jar fix. That's not your problem. Try to move on without it, and then you'll be good to go. Uh, there was a time there where it hadn't been updated to Java 16, but now it has been, and it would do that more commonly, but I still see that sometimes in comments. We get thousands of comments a day. I try to read them all, and that is one thing I do see occasionally that the jar fix is asking people to download another version. It might be asking you to download Java 8, and if it is, is go do that. Go download Java 8, but most of the time you don't need that and you don't need the jar fix if that's the case. But again, it was a simple double click on it and it runs it. As you can see, it's now working and linked to Java JDK, which is what we want. Awesome stuff there. That's how you can download and install Java for your Minecraft servers and Minecraft mods. That's our in-depth guide. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and enjoy Minecraft mod servers or Minecraft itself, whatever you're using this for. Enjoy it. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week and come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. It means it's on me and you will absolutely love it. Anyway, my name is Nick and I'm out. Peace.